there's this concept of ease and of working hard, of working to heal our trauma or working to relax our body. There's an effort in all of that that's quite counterproductive to what it is that we're going for, whether it's healing trauma, healing our body, lengthening our breath. One of the things I've come to know very deeply over years of practice is that I can count on my practice. And what that really means is I've got a lot of experience in tuning in and noticing what's here and noticing that as I release tension out of some part of my body that what's left is softness or relaxation. And this works on all of the different levels. The, certainly with our mind, we can't force ourselves to stop thinking. And one of the early instructions in meditation is not to fight the nature of things. So when we're talking about thought, it's not to fight the nature of the mind. In one layer of the mind, its nature is to generate thoughts. And the primitive brain, the nature of that part of the brain or the mind is to keep us safe. So it's to notice danger. Part of the way our brain works throughout life is that we notice what's safe, what's dangerous, what works, what doesn't. So we learn from our experience. And many times what we've learned isn't actually the highest wisdom. It's often the primitive brain's alarming conclusion to something or a less evolved part of us takes front and center stage because that's how we're set up as well. We're set up to notice danger first. And the primitive brain comes online way before the higher functioning parts of the brain. And then we mix all of that physiology and neurobiology and all that into our experience of core deficiency, of believing that we're not good enough, that we're not safe, that we're not smart enough, that we have to try hard. And then we end up with kind of a toxic stew of aggression and self-improvement. And there's not a lot of softness in that. So as we do the practice today, let's look quite directly at that dynamic. Just as you're getting yourself settled, either sitting or on the floor, take a moment to notice if there's something you could do to bring more ease into your position, into your body, so that you could relax more fully. And take a few deeper breaths and notice what that feels like in your body. And what would it take, what adjustment would it take for your body to be even more comfortable? Sometimes you need to move around a bit and shake things out or Kind of release some kind of agitated energy or some kind of restlessness. 
And we don't want to do that because we're supposed to be still and we're supposed to be relaxing. So just notice for a moment, what does your body feel like from head to toes? Maybe there's a physical adjustment. Make your neck a little bit longer. Move your chin around a bit. You could give yourself a bit more space in your lower back, maybe. There might be something physical. Let your shoulders drop away from your ears or let them relax more completely into the floor or the bed. As you're working with what could bring more ease into your body, notice your breath for a moment. Working with the ease in the breath can be quite instructive because what gets in the way of a deep, relaxing diaphragmatic breath is contraction and tightness. And we're really interfering with the body's natural mechanism to breathe in the most healthy way when we're tight. And the tightness comes mostly from anxiety or fear. It comes from long experience and then the body develops a pattern. So maybe we notice that we hold our breath. We breathe in and we kind of hold on to it a bit and then we breathe out quickly. Or we maybe notice that it's not very deep, that it's kind of shallow, like we don't want to be noticed. And when we look into that, we can see how those patterns develop. A lot of girls, when they're about 12 or 13 and their breasts are developing, start to kind of slump over. And we can see why that happens. We can see why we shield ourselves through the back of our body too, and then what effect that has on our breath. Notice what's happening and what you could release in order to bring a sense of ease or softness. You could feel the heaviness of your shoulders and let them really sink and settle into the support they have. You bring your attention to your stomach area for a moment. Notice the mechanics of the breath, just as it's happening right now. And if you bring your attention to your belly or put a hand on your belly, notice if you just soften the belly, if there's any effect on the breath. Notice if there's a tendency in your mind to jump in and judge something or wish it was different. Notice the experience of allowing your breath to be as it is. Allowing whatever's happening in your body to be as it is. And entertain the words, I am completely at ease with everything in my body at the moment. And then when we look at a sentence like that, we could work with whatever the resistance is that comes up. And that could be, some words, like, well, I'm not actually, 
my body's not the right size, it's not healthy enough, I'm getting old, whatever it is. Or it might be more of a general uneasiness. Well, I'm not actually completely at ease. And then we could look into what does that feel like? However, that's coming up. If it's words or images, look at those. If it's sensation or energy or uneasiness in the body, we can go directly to that energy and pay attention to that. I am completely at ease in my body. I welcome everything that's here. I welcome my body just as it is in this moment. And there's no requirement to mean that or to have some kind of perfection around that. Just looking to see what comes up. And when we see what comes up, oftentimes just the fact of seeing it is helpful. We can ease into that a little bit more. Notice what words are coming up. I can relax and allow my body to heal. I trust my body's wisdom. And some of these things we drop in and there's not much of a response. Other times there's a kind of a dramatic response. And then we just look to see, hmm, what is it that comes up around that? I trust my body's wisdom. I'm letting go of working at this. I'm letting go of working to heal myself. I'm relaxing into allowing the healing to happen. We're just entertaining words, possibilities, and noticing what comes up.
And as you're looking at that and being present with that, notice your whole body. Notice if there's anything you could do to be more comfortable. Maybe a few deep breaths. Relax along the whole back of your body. Notice if there's some contraction, like you're clenching your teeth or your gut's kind of tight. You might shake out your arms and legs. Do whatever you do to be aware of your body and let your body be relaxed. And then we're really noticing what's coming up in the body as a response to these questions, to these statements. I trust, I trust my body to heal. I trust I have good intentions for healing towards myself. And that sometimes will bring up uh, some aggression or some tension. If that's the case, look at that. What would it take to allow that complete trust that I trust my own intentions for healing? I don't have to work at this. This is what my body wants. This is what I want. I don't have to work at it. Notice your body, your breath. Stay anchored in your body. If I stop trying so hard, this is what might happen. And again, we're just noticing. Many of us have a kind of a fear that if we stop working at this or stop trying, that everything's just going to fall to pieces. So if that's something that we have that comes up, that would be good to know. That's probably driving some of the effort. And then before we finish the practice, come back to whatever sense of ease that there is here. Sense of ease in your body, your breath. Maybe there's a softness in your face, a smoothness in your breath, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then let all of that move to the background. 
Let's rest for a moment. And then when you're ready, open your eyes.